Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want to take a quick second and give a shout out to Mama Loca from the KWSN Guild family. Mama Loca has recently undergone the beginning stages of chemotherapy, very aggressive, and we wish her all the best in a quick and speedy recovery. Uh, Godspeed. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I wanna discuss the airship and the artifact system and how best to level up your artifacts for your team of heroes. If this is your first time joining me on YouTube, I like to do educational videos for new Hero Wars and Hero Wars mobile players. So if that sounds like you, please consider subscribing, turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video. And at the end, if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like as it will help get it in front of other new new Hero Wars players just like yourself. Now, the airship here is available at, at uh, team level 20. And uh, upon first entering the airship, you get confronted with a lot of stuff. You've got Valkyrie's Favor up here, which is a pay to win aspect of the game, which I would highly recommend. Uh, you have the artifact chest, you have the merchant, you have expeditions, and then you have artifacts. Now I've covered all of this in a previous video um, uh, holistically, but today I wanted to discuss the best leveling order for your artifacts. Now, artifacts are one of the top two to three things in the game that require a ton of resources. Skins being another one, and of course, just the general lack of gold and how often you need it everywhere. And like with skins and glyphs and everything else, you wanna focus on your main team of five, and I like to focus on one team at a time. And you can do that pretty effectively with artifacts considering that they all take basically the same resources. So we're going to take a look at Elmir here. And Elmir you can see has three separate artifacts. All three or I'm sorry, all heroes have three artifacts. They have an artifact weapon, they have a book, and they have a ring. Now, the ring is the simple one. The ring is always going to match the stat that is the main stat for your hero. Uh Elmir here being an agility hero, ring of agility. Um the folio the folio is going to provide you with two of the basic lesser stats, armor penetration and physical attack for this guy. Um, you can see that Corvus here has armor and magic defense. He's a tank. Astrid and Lucas, armor penetration and physical attack. So they they support the hero in a way that kind of defines that hero. Elmir is more of a, you know, a melee damage dealer. And, you know, like I said, Corvus here is a tank, so his book is Armor and Magic Defense. And then finally, the weapon. The weapon is interesting. You see that it has activation chance 30% and armor penetration 1295. So this is a bit confusing at first, but what happens is this armor penetration stat is provided for your whole team. You can see here when a hero uses the Shifting Sands skill in combat, and Shifting Sands is Elmir's ultimate ability or his gray ability, it can trigger an effect that gives bonus stats to the whole team for nine seconds, with a couple exceptions. So in a nutshell, what happens is when your Elmer uses his ultimate ability, your entire team will get... 1,295 armor penetration for nine seconds. And you can see that there's a 30% chance for this to activate. This is the step one in leveling artifacts for your team. Step one for leveling artifacts for your main team of five is to get this artifact weapon to three stars. And you can see that this is just one star just one star right here. How to evolve the Blade of Many Truths here is you need artifact fragments as well as Chaos Cores. And you can see you need three and one, and I have enough, so let's go ahead and evolve it here in a second. And you can see that the the um, the activation uh, chance went up to 60%, and the armor penetration went up about 200 um, whenever I evolved it. So now, it's a 60% chance for this buff to land on the entire team. What you wanna do is you wanna get this up to three stars. So let's jump in here, let's go to the Merchant, and let's purchase some more fragments of this weapon. And you can see artifact coins is one of the one of the resources that you need to level up your artifacts. Um, you use it to purchase the elemental, I'm sorry, the artifact fragment. So I bought six, let's back out of here. So now I have six out of six and, thir uh, and uh, it, this step, step takes three chaos cores. And you can see on my website, if you wanna take a look there, there is a chart for how much fragments and chaos cores you need to evolve your weapons and other artifacts to you know one to six stars. So we'll go ahead and evolve this again. So now it's a three star artifact. You can see that my activation chance is 100% and my armor penetration went up even more. So just as a quick reminder, 
the artifact weapon will only activate whenever that hero uses their ultimate ability or their gray or their white ability, whenever their energy bar gets full in combat. Then it will provide the second line here, this buff, this armor penetration buff to the entire team. Activation chance at three stars is 100%. It does not get any higher, but if you continue to evolve this weapon from three stars to four, five, and six stars, six stars being the max, the amount of armor penetration that you gain as a buff for your team for nine seconds will increase. So step one in leveling up any artifact for any hero is to get this artifact weapon to three stars. Usually this artifact weapon right here will help define the team synergy of your five heroes. You can see here Elmir providing armor penetration. I've got a physical attacking team, and I do. I'm using, you know, Daredevil and Astrid and Lucas and other physical heroes. The book and the ring. The rest of these, once you get this the three star, you want to follow the basic strategy of stat priority. For example, I want to focus a ton of effort on. Um, on Elmer's armor penetration. Armor penetration for my damage dealer is paramount. Uh, the second stat that I want to level up as a damage dealer is physical attack or magic attack in the case of a mage. So I want to focus a lot of my effort leveling into the book. And I want you to I want you to pay close attention to this. In order to level up the artifacts, okay, we talked about evolving them, the, the one star to three star. In order to level up the artifacts, you need different resources. So for the weapon, it requires essences, okay? For the book, it requires scrolls, and for the ring, it requires metal. So three separate resources. So you could theoretically level all three of these artifacts together, because as you gain metal, you can level up the ring. As you gain scrolls, you can level up the book. And as you gain essences, this little potion here, you can level up your artifact weapon. But what if, what if you wanted to be a little bit more diverse? And and if you if you just want the most basic strategy of leveling up artifacts, then that's it. Get artifact weapon to three stars, step one. Step two, put all of your essences, all of your book, uh, and all of your medals into a single hero. Get that single hero as high as you can and call it a day. But let's let's take it one step further, one step a little bit more con complex. So I'm trying to level up armor penetration and physical attack for my, um, uh, for my damage dealer. What I could do is I can go to my healer. All right. El I'm sorry. Dorian is my hero, uh, healer. And Dorian as a healer requires, uh, suggests that I level up health and magic attack first. Um, what I could do instead is I could focus on his intelligence and, um, you know, use use all the the metals for his ring here, which will increase his magic defense and his magic attack, which will then increase his health. Um, while I'm focusing on Elmir's armor penetration and physical attack, and also while I'm focusing on Corvus's weapon. Okay, as a tank, theoretically your tank should be able to ultimate first. That's not always the case, but sometimes. So having that high armor buff for your team is incredibly beneficial because it's your tank's job to protect your team. So you can invest all of your essences into your tank. You could invest all of your books into your damage dealer, right? For that, that penetration stat. And then you can invest all of your metals into your healer to increase their intelligence, which increases their magic attack and magic defense. I know, I know we talked about in a previous video how support and healers, it is more effective to have health uh, as, a, as a, a stat priority, but that's, that's just one of the different strategies to focus on. The strategy that I personally like the most, and this is the strategy that I follow, I throw all of my resources into a single hero. All of my essences go into Elmir. All of my uh, scrolls go into Elmir. All of my metals go into Elmir at the green level. You can see that this artifact is at green level. And again, you can refer back to the chart on HeroWarEssential.com on the different requirements for leveling up an artifact from level 0 all the way up to level 100. All of my green artifacts go into Elmir. All of my gray artifacts go into Corvus. Okay? And so I'll keep dumping green artifacts into Elmer here. Let's go ahead and just pop a couple of these in here. Keep going, keep going. Oh, ran out. Once I once I level up Elmir to blue artifacts, when I need blue metals, essences, and scrolls, and I should be able to get 
Uh, maybe it's 50. I'm not sure exactly where it is. But once I get, whoops, once I level up Elmer's artifacts into the blue tier, then I take all of the green artifact components that I get from then on and focus them on my Corvus as I level my Corvus from gray into green. Then, you know, ultimately, Elmir will level from green to blue and from blue into violet. Then all of my blue artifacts I'll use into Corvus. And then in, when, when Elmir gets from violet into gold, I'll use all my gold artifact components on Elmir and use all my violet artifact components on Corvus. And then as you, as you increase the level, once I get Corvus out of gray, right, I'll get Corvus from gray into green. And then all of my gray artifacts, I'll dump into a third hero, like my healer here. Okay, and then once I get uh, Corvus from green into blue, then I throw all my green artifacts into Dorian. And then since Dorian is out of gray, I throw all my gray artifacts into another hero. Does that does that make sense? Take it another way. Take it another way. There are two strategies to level up artifacts for your heroes. You could be a little hybrid in in your in your placement. You can you know dump all of your um, your essences into the weapon of your tank, all of the scrolls into the uh, into your damage dealer to increase their penetration and attack, and then all of your metals into your healer to increase their base stat. Or you can focus on one hero at a time, throw all of your green into a single hero, throw all of your blue into another hero, throw all of your gray into a third hero, and stair step them up. And that's how I like to do it. So two different two different strategies to level up artifacts, but generally speaking, follow the stat priority if you're just not sure how to level it up and you won't go wrong. You just won't go wrong. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. Um, I will share the video to the artifacts, the, the hero artifact event that we have every now and then once every uh, two to three months. And I uh, hope to join you. Hope to see you in the live stream to, uh, in, in just a little bit. Uh, we, we live stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Schedule is on screen now. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.